What's up, people? There are big changes in the world of Apple. If you haven't heard about it, we're going to talk about it. Let's go. What's up, people? It's your boy, the Black Cobra. The Apple event was a lot different than we expected. Apple is changing. Today, we're going to talk about some of the big changes in their announcement. Are these changes for you? Let's talk about it. So first up is Apple News Plus. This is Apple's upgraded news service, or rather their magazine service. They're offering over 300 magazines. Now, for some people, this is a great idea because if you, if you read magazines, you can read them on your iPhone, your iPad, your Mac, your MacBook Pro, anywhere you get it, you can read it. They're offering this service for $9.99 a month, and it's already available now, as long as you've updated the software on all of your devices. Now, the good thing about this is that they're offering it with family sharing for the same $9.99. So if you already have Apple Music, you know that when you get to the family sharing part, you're jumping up to $15 or $14.99. So that's a difference here for now. I don't know if that's gonna change later. Now the big thing to me in regards to this is whether it's going to be for you. Now, I'm not somebody who does a lot of magazine reading. I'm this kind of guy, I'm a YouTube guy, I'm a give me my media quickly and let's get it over with kind of guy. Are you? Because if you're like me, then this might not be for you. But if you are the one that always likes to look at the print, who loves to read, who loves the, the pictures jumping off the page, well, then Apple News Plus will definitely be for you. I can tell you that as Apple always does, they do a fantastic job at making it look amazing. When you look at the magazines that they show, they had live covers just like live wallpaper. They come to life just as you watch them, and that's even before you access it. So to me, when it comes to being aesthetically pleasing, there's nobody that beats Apple. So if, if you're looking for that and you're wanting it for how it looks, then you, this is definitely what you want. It has to be truly what you're into, at least in my opinion, to hang on to you. It's still the idea of having to read your news. In today's society, I just don't know how viable that is when everyone is looking for a news program or even an internet news show to give them their news as they do other things in the background so that they don't have to stop and read and not be able to, do, to multitask and do other things. So again, it depends on you, it depends on your preference, it depends on how you ingest, and it depends on what is best for you. Next up is Apple Arcade. Apple Arcade is a video game streaming service specifically for Apple. Now as a gamer, eh, a part-time gamer, <laughs> I'm gonna say that I'm kind of excited about Apple Arcade simply because it's one subscription and you, can ha you have access to six family members. Again, the family sharing for no additional cost. Another big win in my opinion. So Apple, is talking about these individual special games that are specifically designed for Apple and its devices. So, to me, it's exciting just to see what is on the horizon. Now, these are not the AAA titles that you're gonna get on Xbox um, or you're gonna get on your PlayStation, but they are designed specifically for the devices we're going to be using them on. So to me, that means that there's probably going to be some special features and I'm excited to see. I'm hoping that they in incorporate maybe some of the AR features that are uh, possible on some of the devices. Uh, we, we shall see. I'm excited to see what is to come with Apple Arcade. Now let's talk Apple TV. So they've updated the Apple TV app and it's slated to go into LG TVs, Vizio TVs, Samsung TVs, um, so all, all these different smart TVs are now gonna have the Apple TV app built in. They also added the ability to have Apple TV, the Apple TV app on Roku devices and Amazon Fire Stick devices. So basically, they've, they're putting it everywhere. And not only are they putting it everywhere, 
but now they have Apple TV Plus. So not only did they update the Apple TV app so that all of your subscriptions can be in one place, well, almost all of them. Netflix is not included, but all, all your other subscription services, you can see them all and view them all in one place. They're making it more convenient as they always do. So the Apple TV Plus is an all new streaming service with original content from Apple. Apple has partnered with some of the biggest names. If you watched the keynote address, then you saw all the big name actors and, and producers that they par paraded out there. They had Steven Spielberg, they had J.J. Abrams, uh, they had Oprah come out there and, and she said, it's interesting to see such big names is doing, they're taking a step going from devices and going into the main media stream and they're they're trying to put their foothold on it like they do. They don't do anything halfway. Apple does it all the way and then some and here they are doing it again. Now I'm not sure about all the content that I saw because they gave you little snippets um, but there are a couple of those snippets that looked amazing and I can't wait to see what they have to offer. I was disappointed like everyone else that they did not share the price point for Apple TV Plus nor did they share the price point for Apple Arcade. So those are things that we are interested in seeing. We want to know if it's going to be, what I want to know is it's something that they're going to bundle all three. Are you going to give me $9.99 for each or $30 for the whole thing or yeah, what are you going to do? So it's another uh, streaming bill you're going to have, which is not good. Um, and as many have said, this was one spot where Apple missed the mark. And I think that is because of things that are outside of their control, but it would have been nice for them to be able to lump all of your subscription services into one fee. And that way it would put it all together and make it super easy for us so that we wouldn't have to pay, still pay all these separate bills. And the final thing I want to talk about is probably the thing I'm most excited about is the Apple card. Yes, it's weird to say I'm excited about a card, a credit card, and because that's just what it is, the Apple card. But what I'm excited about is not only the ease of use and the access to it that they're giving you, but I'm excited about the titanium card with your name and no number on it. Did you, did you see this thing? Look at this thing, it looks super sexy. And there's no way that I'm not gonna try and get one of these. In the wallet app, you'll be able to access your Apple card and you'll be able, to, what I like is what they showed about being able to access your payments and how your payments are going to affect your, your interest and how much you're gonna have to pay and also how they are going to help you to track what you're spending and they're gonna help you to track it. They're not gonna keep track of it. They're gonna help you to track it. So you can see what you're spending things on, where you're spending it, what's trending in your spending so you can you know, change what you need to to help your budget. Um, I like the fact that they're gonna help you access all of that. But I cannot lie, I'm most excited about getting that titanium card so you can use it on your phone and your, all your devices like Apple Pay or wherever they accept Apple Pay but you can also get an actual card so that you can keep with you, that you can use at places that don't use utilize Apple Pay or digital paying yet. So there it is, that's all. Just a quick video to talk about Apple. Please let me know what you think. Throw some comments down below. Let me know what you think about Apple's new jump into streaming, about Apple's change. Also, what did you think about the fact that there were no devices mentioned? Now they, of course, they released all their devices and their new things during the week before, during the week in the lead up to their event. However, not having any hardware at all in this keynote address was a bold move by Apple. Do you think it was the right move? Was the event exciting enough for you or did you feel it was too boring? Are you excited about the direction that Apple is taking or do you think they're going too far? Or do you think they're going off the mark? Tell me, let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and we can have a conversation. Okay, that's it from your boy, the Black Cobra. I'm always here with your gadgets, games, and gear. Till next time, peace.